Well, hello everyone and welcome to your Monday's edition of Reptile News. Now let's get right into the news. An announcement of a Reptile Expo, the West Alabama Reptile Expo, is happening on April 16th and 17th. Now some of the proceeds for this expo go towards U.S. ARC and some of the other organizations that promote awareness and education and responsible keeping. If you'd like any more information, click on that link in the description, go to the website, read the story, and go check them out. Our next story is kind of a funny one. A, an alligator actually walked out of an apartment fire. Apparently this apartment fire destroyed four apartments apartments, but this alligator walked away unharmed. This happened in Pittsburgh. Now, authorities believe the cause of the fire was a space heater put too close to the bed. They're currently investigating whether the alligator requires permits or whether there were any permits in that apartment or that area uh, for this alligator. And they also found a damaged AK-47, so they're looking into that too. Now, this whole alligator story really got me thinking. Assume permits were required. It, it doesn't matter where it is, anywhere in the United States. Let's assume it's in an area where permits are required, or let's assume that it's in an area where it's just down right illegal to have them so what what kind of it enforcement is being done um, I mean it seems to me there's absolutely no way they're gonna enforce this unless an apartment burns down and they find an alligator in the apartment um which kind of brings me to our question of the day which we don't really have every day or every week or in a long time but what do you think um, could help in the enforcement in the areas where it's not legal to have some of these animals now it's my personal belief that this falls right in line with just kind of regulating ourselves with responsibility within the, the community. I, I, I really don't think there's any way they can enforce this unless something happens to get the authorities in somebody's home. How else are they going to enforce it? Anyway, leave a text comment or a video response and that's been all your news for this Monday. If you'd like to read any more of these stories, those links are right down below here in the description. And as always, if you're still watching, my name is Jason White. Now you know what's going on in the reptile world. Be good to each other. Let's make to the stage for one more show This dedication's to the people we know I'm just surprised that this never gets old The path to these dreams ends in a pot of fool's gold The female oh, She's as long as that cage is there um, much, much darker.